Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to College Football 25. And we are here with the LT Jazz Dynasty. Now, these are the bowl results. Obviously, you've seen in last episode, we got that smackdown, that beatdown by Coastal Carolina. That's a Sunbelt team, and if we go over there, we better be ready. I mean, they are definitely, I think, a step up from the current conference we're in. But 56 to 28 ultimately was the end there. We got a couple of tutties in trash time. Notre Dame beats Tennessee to move on, and LSU beats Oklahoma to move on in those college playoffs. So that's pretty interesting. Um, Toledo falls to Texas State. Bowling Green there, Oregon State. Boise. I think Boise beat Penn, Penn State. That's actually crazy. And then the Raging Cajuns put on a good fight against the Georgia Bulldogs, but Georgia overcomes them. And then Miami falls to Wisconsin. So Miami's not going to be going to the national championship, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Utah destroys Minnesota. Ohio falls there to Memphis. Nevada. Sam Houston falls to Tulane. But, uh, yeah, so far, I'm loving this game. Um, they patched it. Now, the simulation, is it better? It seems a little bit better. Oh, the Idaho State Irons lose their first bowl game. I think they're the only... Well, no, them, the Idaho State Irons, and I think the Nenes, the Hawaiian Nenes, uh, made it to their bowl games but I think they both lost so that's unfortunate but anyways moving over to the college football playoffs we're, what we're going to do is we're going to advance one more week and we'll tune into a little bit of highlights for one of the games out of the top four teams so that's kind of how I just want to we're not going to take too much time into watching the playoff games but when it comes to the national championship game we will watch that whole game every single year. Now, some big news for the head coaches. You know it's college football. There's going to be a lot of outs, a lot of ins. Death Valley gets rid of their um, quarterback or head coach, and so does East Montana. Keith Butter, that's right, he has been fired. Keith Butter, I want to hear what you got to say in the comments, man. That's just unfortunate. And Ole Miss, of course we all seen that. Their head coach got fired. He only won two games, so... Yikes. As far as our staff goes, we're going to keep the things exactly the same. I think we did phenomenal our opening um, opening season here with LT Jazz. It went very successful, way more successful than I thought it would have went. Um, but moving on, we don't have any commits here. We are, like I said, looking at Deion Dillon there. It's looking like he's going to leave. Uh, which will definitely hurt us in the future as we will need to definitely think of some type of replacement for Jamie Bell. But that we got four years out of Bell, I think, that are going to be just fine. Now, these are schools that are offering me a job. Of course, I'm not going to take any of them, but it's going to be interesting to see where they go. And if you look, Butters, that's not Keith Butter, but it's... A different butter. Man, the whole butter family's in, in the league, but they could take that Ohio Bobcats job. And moving over to see the results, it does look like Florida beat LSU. So, okay, 31-28. to 28. Texas Tech falls to Notre Dame. Oh, my goodness. Ohio beats Wisconsin. 52 to 31. And then Clemson beats Georgia 38 to 33. So Ohio State looks really good to beat a Wisconsin team like that. Wow. So that sends us to the final four Notre Dame versus Ohio State and Clemson versus Florida. You know, we're going to hop in to one of those games. We'll watch maybe like just a half of football or something. Maybe the Florida Clemson game. Or not. 
was it Florida Clemson? I can't even remember now. It is late me recording this. But anyways, uh, I also like, you can see some of the head coaches go, it says go to the NFL. That's why they left for their reasoning. And it'll be fun. Oh, Keith Butter. He's got a new job. He's now head coaching for SMU. So we're going to have to focus on SMU a little bit. Keep Keith Butter, our eyes on Keith Butter. That's the subscriber head coach. That's so cool. Wow, guys, if you want a, a head coach uh, in this series, leave a name down in the comments below. It it holds their stats, their career stats as well. That'd be fun to kind of compete with you guys uh, and put you guys here as well. That way you don't have a four-year limit on your, your submitted player. You could just be a head coach. So, Keith Butter, good luck going to uh, to SMU. But let's go ahead and hop into the, the Florida-Clemson game. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see who's going to the national championship. So after adding to this big lead, they are set to kick it away. The Turner looking to make a play here. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. To the air, it's club Nick. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. Caught way downfield for a huge gain. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Well, this defense has played well with a letdown there. A little too comfortable with this big lead at the moment, maybe. Yeah, and, I, and what I love to see is this offense has not given up. This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but... Here they are taking a few swings late in this game. This one ends up working out. And now let's see if they can put another play or two together and get the points on the board. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up. Back here on third down. He's got it for a big game. Ball carrier tackled at the two. A solid gain on that completion. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Running up the middle, but stuff for no gain. It's a second and goal play for the offense. We go with a direct snap. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They need a touchdown here. Down big in the fourth quarter. Third and goal. Oh, it's snapped to the back. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. Well, when you have a big physical offensive line, you can wait to third and goal and rely on them and the running back to get you a touchdown. Set up for the PAT. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Hawkins. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Gators offense retakes the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. Well, this is where the offensive line can really assert their will and put on the finishing touches to this game. The defense, you can see them. They're breaking little by little right now. You make sure they break completely. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. And the Gators will line up to put it away. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. Here comes the first play of the drive now from the 44. To the air. It's Club Nick. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Hey, you're down by a couple possessions late in the game. That's exactly how you want to 
to start this drive. Let's see what they can do with it after that nice game. Dump off caught by the running back. Looks like Clemson will have the first down. Offense operating at high tempo now. No huddle. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And the junior able to get home with the sack. And the Tigers looking to use the up-tempo offense here. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure. That football is out. A potentially game-changing play. But who's got it? The offense recovers the fumble. The Tigers will try to keep this drive moving. You know, the offense catches a break here. Lucky to jump on the ball after coughing it up. He's lucky that his other teammates had some good awareness. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Looking to pass here on second down. And that's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. And they will trot out the field goal team here. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. They're in pretty good position. It's a two-possession game. Can they now put this game on ice? Handoff as they try to work the clock here. Stop right there at the line. No game. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. And now the running back's got it again. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. Now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. They'll kick it away here. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. Fresh set it down to the offense. First down. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they'll get him down that time. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. Going to pick up the third and short through the air. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but a big chunky yardage on the play. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Grab down the middle. It's Johnson. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. Cover an onside kick. You never know. Now the all-important extra point. PAT 
efficiency is good. They still trail, though. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks and the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically, and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.